going on, my peoples? Your boy Mark Black is Molly and my films. Thanks for tuning in. Got some shit to talk about. Might be interesting, you know. Um, I was watching. Well, I want to say honestly, shout out to Vlad TV. Shout out to Hassan Campbell. Shout out to Chi Ali, because that's what this is about today. Recently, Vlad interviewed Chi Ali, and he was explaining the situation what led Chi. Ali to prison for murder. I don't know if that's exactly what he got um, charged with, second degree murder or something, or if they put it manslaughter, how that went, but he was in jail for killing somebody, which was his baby mother's brother. <clears throat> now, mind you, Vlad did this interview five years ago. Recently, he just dropped another interview basically saying this, explaining the same situation, but a little deeper, a little more in the detail. But Hassan Campbell had made a video and it got my will spinning in my head. And it got me thinking about a couple of things. Now, mind you, he was feeling some way because he felt like Vlad is all a culture vulture, basically. And he goes on YouTube, tries to make money off all the artists by interviewing them and having them tell all their business, snitching on themselves, self-incriminating themselves and making themselves look bad, and going to jail. Um, So, that was his rant. That's, that's, that's what he was feeling. That's what his video was about. His video had me thinking, though, because the bigger picture, though, and all this, right? Because I look at it like this. He was saying, he had some good points. He was saying, like, for instance, Vlad already interviewed Chi Ali five years ago, basically the same topic. So, it was like, why are you still bringing it up? You know what I'm saying? And the main thing, though, this is some real shit. He said Chi Ali's family, basically his baby mother, like not Chi Ali's family, his baby, his baby mother's brother's family, his baby mother, basically, she's going to have to relive this. You know what I'm saying like watching Vlad or doing this and that and third people just talking about like, yo, he did an interview again and they talking about it. It's going to make her think about what she had to go through all these years. She lost her brother over a situation that she kind of created to a point. Cause she called Chi Ali to go basically talk to her brother or whatever. And it just escalated. So that's opening up a wound basically. So I get that part. It's like, what the fuck? Like, why would you even keep doing this? And then people feel like Vlad lures people into saying certain things, knowing they might be high or they might not be as educated. Now, mind you, I got to be honest. Vlad is a a YouTuber and he's an interviewer and all this kind of shit. He has a brand. So he's going to do what he got to do to make money. And some people just don't have that full heart, like where they care that much to be like, fuck it, this is wrong. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, whatever. Some people don't even realize what they're doing. And maybe he don't feel like he's wrong because he's not actually snitching on somebody. You know what I'm saying, but I will say this. These people that he's interviewing are grown ass people. Now, they could easily not get interviewed. You know what I'm saying they don't have to go there, but the it's so many different levels to it because one is the the addiction of fame. You know what I'm saying you want to be recognized, you want to get interviewed so you can get viewed. So you, like you might have a video coming out, you might have some project coming out, you might anything. You might be going half with Vlad on views getting the bread off it like i don't know what's going on with y'all but it's different things that it makes somebody want to do the interview again knowing how to probably make them feel while they talking about it knowing that it's gonna affect others and they already talked about it like even that like the average person to be like yo we already talked about that shit same time people want that fame and popularity and that notoriety so it i don't know why they would bring it up, but it's so many levels to it. That's what I mean. For instance, five years ago, they did the other video. So it's like they doing, they bringing it back up because they introducing him again. So it's like start from there and then build up with videos. But I will say this. I feel what Hassan Campbell was saying because it's like y'all could have talked about other shit as far as like anything he has going on. What's new in his life. But then again... Is there anything new in his life? Is he doing a lot of things? Like, we just got to... We can't put all the blame on Vlad, though I understand. You know what I'm saying? And 
Honestly, same time, the bigger picture, though, because this is what I wanted to get to, because we can put some of the blame on Vlad, because as a person that's supposed to, if you really, if these are your friends or not even your friends, if it's like, man, if you see somebody fucked up, like, for instance, he was saying that Chi Ali looked kind of high. I'm watching the video. I'm watching Vlad's interview, and he did look high. He looked like this a lot of the time. And that's no shot at him. It's more of like, dang, like, Vlad, you can't, like... See, is it Vlad's position to tell a grown man, like, yo, listen, stop his interview that he finally got this dude here on the schedule. Stop it and be like, yo, you um, you kind of high. You look kind of fucked up. Some people going to take offense, like, what the fuck? I ain't high. And might spaz on Vlad. Some people, like, it's so many different levels of shit where I get it. But sometimes you got to take that risk as a person. Like, yo, you look fucked up, man. I'm not going to do your interview right right now come back when you when you're better you know what i'm saying but then again some people want to get that because that's what's going to get the clicks and shit you see a nigga high he talking about a specific specific topic that everybody want to know about or everybody knows about you know what i'm saying so it's a lot of parts that i'm um, going to it but like i said it's a deeper thing that i wanted to talk about i wanted to talk about friends and I want to talk about drugs because the friend side or people that you think are your friends or anything like that, for instance, with Vlad, like, you got to understand Vlad's not your friend for the most part. You know what I'm saying? So if you go on his on his um platform, it's like you're a grown person. You got to, like, accept responsibility for whatever comes out your mouth or whatever whatever's going on. You know what I'm saying? But as a friend, like, and it's, it's bigger than Vlad. It's like people, period. People just let people go with the flow. They don't ever tell them, like, yo, when they're wrong. Or they don't ever check them when they're out of line. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You need real people around you, period. You know what I'm saying? So, on that level, it's like, damn, Vlad, you could have kind of told this brother something. You know what I'm saying? But, another thing. Vlad, man, he got he chasing his bag. That's how he pays his bills, so... I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But on another level, let's talk about drugs because you see Chi Ali over there. He nodding. Now, mind you, I don't know what he could be on. And maybe he's tired too. Who knows? I don't know if he's a busy brother these days what, but it's, it honestly looked like he might be high on something. And that's another thing. Like, people out here, man, on all these kind of different drugs, pills, coke, um, dope, and they just... They, they they out here kind of embarrassing themselves. Like, look at that. That's on national... That's not national TV, but that's on a, a, a big platform, man. That's everybody's watching. That's getting hundreds of thousands to millions of views. And motherfuckers are seeing him like that. You know what I'm saying? That looks bad. You know what I'm saying? Not to say he should feel any way like that. Like, as far as, like, don't put your head down. Don't feel like, damn, I ain't shit. But, like, check that. Look at that and check yourself as far as, like... I'm not trying to tell you what to do because I had I had a convo with some people that's like close to me recently about like, for instance, pills. A lot of young people do pills these days. And I was trying to tell them like, yo, you got to ease up, da, da, da. And um, sometimes you can't tell people anything, you know what I'm saying? But same time, like, you know, when you're going through something, like people could see it and it's kind of like... The people that care for you are supposed to let you know, you know what I'm saying, before it's too late, you know what I'm saying, but anyway, about the drugs, period, like, a lot of people are on drugs these days, and, like, you hate to just see people, you know, shit take over people's lives, you know what I'm saying, point being, I'm not trying to tell you what to do, you know what I'm saying, you have grown, like, everybody is entitled to do whatever they want with their life, but, like, but, like, let's say, for instance, you might feel like you don't smoke weed. So, because I smoke weed, let you live because that's your drug of choice or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, you never hear about people really dying from weed. And I'm not trying to make an excuse for weed, but I'm trying to get you to understand the difference between smoking weed and popping pills or doing um, dope 
or a cold. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it's a difference. You know what I'm saying? People are dying. Like, in my city, my city, a lot of young people have been dying off of pills lately. A lot of young and older people have been dying off dope. You know what I'm saying? Should be too strong or bad batches. And you know I mean, so, you know, it's a difference. But at the end of the day, man, what do y'all feel about this? Do y'all feel Hassan's side, which I'm going to put the link to his video in the um, description and put the link to Vlad's video in the description. I want y'all to check those out. Give me your opinion, though, right here in the comments. Let me know how you feel. Um, is Vlad a culture vulture? Should he have said something? Do these people need to understand that Vlad's not their friend? Um, is Hassan just doing it for views as far as making a video, which, like, Y'all shouldn't even think that because the bigger picture is, is he right or wrong? It, does he have a point or not? I'm saying, um, and just let me know, man. Keep showing love, you know, keep coming to my page and I'm going to keep dropping videos. You know what I mean, I need different things, different topics and shit to talk about. You know what I mean, y'all hit me up with any ideas or whatever. But anyway, this is Mark Black, Molly and my films, man. Make sure y'all click the like comment hit the notification button and don't forget to keep showing that love and i'm gonna keep fucking with y'all molly my films one I need that